Hello everyone, Sharif Abu Zaid here with a new video. And in this new video, I want to show you the different menu settings and options available if you are using the Cadence theme free to design your website pages. I'm going to show you how you can create a primary navigation menu like this at the top of your website pages. Also, I'm going to show you how you can create a secondary menu like this, which can be used to display, let's say, the this important website uh, pages and also at the footer i will show you how you can create a menu at the footer like this which can be helpful let's say for adding an html sitemap which can be used to um, help you rank in search engines i'm going to show you also how you can control and change the background color of the secondary menu and of course the primary menu how you can change the font size the style and everything else now without any further delays let me show you how you can do this Let's say this is a new a website. Of course, the first step will be to create a new menu. And now to create a new menu, you need to go to the Appearance tab and then click Menus. And inside the Menus screen, this is where you can create different types of menus, allocate their locations, and give their names, add pages to them. Now, to create a new menu, we need to click Create a new menu. The first step here is to give this menu a name. So let's call this Shreve's menu. And let's click create a menu. Now, once the menu is created, now we can add pages. We can uh, say here which pages that we like to be displayed if we are using this menu. Let's say I want to add my contact page and the about us page and the sample page. Let's click add to menu to add the pages to this menu of course you can change the order of the menus if you just drag and drop it here if you want to display the sample page before the contact you can do this if you want to make this like a sub menu item you can just drag it here now this will be displayed as a sub menu like the ones here these are the sub menus the sub menu items here you can just drag it here now once we do this we can just click save menu to save the menu now if Sharif's menu is used in any location inside the website this menu will be will uh, display these pages only once we do this the second step is to choose the location of the menu where do you like this menu to be displayed now the number of locations available inside the menus uh, window will depend on which theme that you are using to design your website pages because we are talking here about the cadence theme we will find that we have four locations here we have the footer the mobile the secondary and the primary menu now for the footer this is a clear this is i think this is um, clear enough the footer is that you want to display this menu at the footer of the page itself of the website pages this is where you want to uh, show your footer menu now for the mobile this means that you want to show this mobile this menu only for the people who are browsing your website through their mobile devices and this can be helpful in some situations let's say that an e-commerce website have like a menu that con that controls like 30 or even 50 menu items this will this will be hard for the people who are browsing the website through their uh, mobile devices so you can allocate a different menu that will be displayed only for the people who are using their mobile devices for the secondary and the primary navigations these are the secondary this is let me go to the top of the page of the website this is our primary navigation um, location and this is our secondary navigation location now to allocate this menu to any part of your website you can just click and choose it so let's say i want to show this inside as my secondary navigation i will click here now this will be displayed as by secondary navigation if you want to make this primary i can just choose it primary let's say i would like to make this primary navigation i'll just click save menu if we go here if we click refresh you'll find now these are my primary navigation menus but of course we don't like it to be like this i like to allocate a different menu to be shown as my primary menu to do this you can choose a different menu now to display and edit another menu we can just go here and click here and choose other menus let's say i want to choose this main menu here i will click the select now this is my uh, this is another menu that i have already created before this video if i want to allocate this menu as my secondary as my primary uh, menu 
I will just choose primary menu here. I'll click save. Now, if we go here, you'll find this is my primary menu again displayed here as my as my main menu as displayed as my primary menu. Now, how you can change the background colors and anything else, how you can change even the locations of your primary and the secondary menus. You can do this inside your customizer settings. Now, to go to the customizer, we can go to um, the appearance tab. We can click customize here, or even we can just click customize from the front end. So let's go here. Let's go to the customizer tab. Now, these parts, these are called the header sections. Now, and at the bottom, this is called the footer section. This is where you can control the footer of your website. Now, to control and to say which or to tell WordPress which menus you like to be displayed at the, the header of your website, inside the customizer, we need to go to the header section. And you click here, you'll find this is these are all the items and options available inside the header of our website if you're using the cadence theme. I have already created another video with full tutorial about how you can control and use the header of um, cadence theme. I will leave down below a link for this another video. Now to add a menu as your primary navigation, all you need to do, let's, let's you know, let's just remove these. All you need to do is to click here, the plus button here and choose the primary navigation. Let's click here. As you can see, the header itself is organized in two and three sections, a top row, a main row, and a bottom row. Now we need to make this, we are using only the main row now, and we need to add our primary navigation. We have just clicked the plus button. We have chosen to add the primary navigation. Let me just remove this. We click here, we can choose the primary navigation. Now this will be displaying our primary navigation here. To control the size, the colors, everything else relevant to the styling of the primary navigation, we need to click this gear icon here, and this will show all the options and settings available to the primary navigation. If you want to change the background, you can go here, we can change the background of the primary navigation, but because we are using the transparent, I think this is, yes, this are, these are the menu uh, or the navigation. This is called the navigation colors. If you want to change the colors here, you can click here, we can change it. So let's say I want to make this as a green. Let's choose green. This should be green here. As you can see, this now is green colored, but I like to stick with my website colors. So I would choose um, black to make this black. So as you can see, these are blacks. And um, what are the differences between these colors? If you hover over any of these, this is the initial color. So this is the initial color of the menu. Now, this is the hover color. Yes, the hover color. If someone hovers over the menu items, the color will change. As you can see, this is now um, black. If I hover over it, it will go to this like pretty color or something like this. And this is the active color of the menu item. Of course, you can change the font size. You can do this here. Let's click here. And this is where you can control the size. If you want to increase the size, you can just increase the size from here. Let's get back to 16. If you want to change the style, you can do this from here. Let's say this black or bold like this. If you want to change the font size, the fonts as the, uh, I mean the font um, style, you can just make it from here. As you can see now, I have changed the font size. Now to add the secondary menu, you can just display it um, at the same row of the menu here. If you click here, you can just add it here, secondary navigation. But I like to show it at the top of the website, as we have seen at the beginning of the website. So I will just click at, I will choose the top row. I will click in the plus menu, plus uh, uh, icon. I will choose the navigation or the secondary menu here. And this is my uh, secondary navigation or my secondary menu. Now for the background color, how you can choose the background color. Now you can choose a background color for the menu itself, the secondary menu itself. And the same applies to the primary navigation or you can change the color of the full row that contains the menu itself. And because I'm adding this to my top row, I will choose the top row navigation color. And here I can control what is the color of the row that contains the secondary menu itself. I will just leave it like this. If we click here, again, we have the options to control the font size, the colors of the 
secondary uh, menu navigation for example in the top row of the navigation of the header i like to make this let's choose uh, pixels i like to make this like say 80 pixels for example uh, sorry this is the spacing i'm really sorry about this if we choose this and we go here this is where you can control the minimum height this is the height of the menu itself of the row itself let's go here again let me fix this so let's go here and let's this is the padding now let's go to general and let's decrease the spacing again let's go to the top row and this is where you can control the minimum height of the row that contains the secondary navigation itself i like to increase the font size of this it looks like smaller if we want to increase the font size we need to go to again to the secondary navigation settings we go to the design tab we go to here and we can increase the size of our menu navigation now because we are inside the header section itself we can control the tablet menu okay click here this is the desktop if we click here this is our menu items here now if we click the gear icon again for the mobile navigation this is where again you can control the background colors of the mobile menus here these are inside the general we can choose if you like to allocate another menu to be displayed as my, as my mobile menu i can do, do this from here I can just choose it from here but because i'm inside the header i like to go to the mobile navigation and this is where you can control the design of the menu itself if we click here this is our menu and navigation here so these are these are the um, the header sections about the header uh, sections uh, options relevant to the desktop and the tablet and mobile if you want to know how you can control the footer menu itself we need to go to the footer section of the website so let's of the customizer let's go here and here we can control uh, what items we can add or which items we need to add to our footer if we go to the general tab i can just you know let's go down here and if you go here you'll find that we can add the primary navigation let's remove it from here and let's remove this now the footer itself doesn't have any navigation now to add a primary to add our footer navigation menu we can just click the plus button let's add it here and you can choose the footer navigation now this be displayed here but i don't know what's wrong with this anyway if we go to the settings tab again we can choose the um the font size we can change the font size of the head of the footer menu we can make it whatever we want so let's say that i want to make this size let's say click here i like to make this like 20 pixels and let's click publish and let's close this and let's view it let's go to the bottom as you can see this is now my footer navigation i have already increased the font size and at the top again i have my secondary navigation with a black background and also my secondary or my primary navigation now has a contain or contains a different font style so these are all the uh, or most of the options and settings available for the menu items inside the cadence theme free now the premium add-on of cadence has another feature called mega menu which make it more stylish which makes the menu itself more style more stylish and uh, more easy for the visitors to navigate through your website uh, sections if you like me to make another video tutorial about the mega menu of the cadence team please leave me below a comment so you can encourage me to make this another video so this is my video about the menu settings and options available inside the cadence theme free if you like it please give me a thumbs up and please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel because i create three videos a week to help you create more effective wordpress websites now thank you so much and see you in the next video